Hey there campers, it's AJ with Outdoors Podcast and on today's video I'm going to talk to you about a brand new pair of shoes that I'm using to replace my Ultras. So when I think about my hiking shoes, my running shoes, there's really just a couple of factors that matter for me. A, how comfortable they are and do they keep my feet feeling good while on longer hikes, longer runs, things like that. Secondly, durability matters a lot. We do a lot of hiking in some, I wouldn't say harsh terrain, but we do some hiking in some challenging terrain and uh, thicker brambles and all kinds of things like that. So durability of my day-to-day -day hiking and running shoes definitely matters. And then third, I need a shoe that has an appearance that allows me to wear them out to dinner, nothing fancy, but to grab a burger, some fish and chips, go to a brewery. I certainly want to have shoes that I can wear out with out drawing a bunch of attention to myself with super bright bold colors i think those are really fun for people that have more room for more, multiple pairs of shoes uh, but really i only get to have one or two pairs of these kinds of shoes with me on the road so let's talk about why i'm getting rid of my ultras at least for now and switching to a different shoe brand so for my day-to-day -day running i use these brooks ghosts and i don't i can't remember which version these are um, but they've been a really really good shoe for me i really enjoy running in these they do have a bit of a raised heel so you get uh, it's not a zero drop type shoe but these just really stay in place and have created um, just a real relief from any kind of long-term toe numbness or anything that i was getting when i was running so these are kind of my running shoes and kind of keep that in mind also the wear and tear on these running shoes short of the toes for as many miles as i put on these things is pretty fantastic what I was using for my day-to-day -day hiking shoes and just kind of walking around town shoes typically were these Ultra Temp 4s. Now these things have really been through the ringer and I won't say that I've put a ton more miles on them than I did the Brooks Ghosts. So it's been disappointing to see these kind of wear and tear the wear they have and you can see they've just got all kinds of gashes and holes and rips and the bottom has kind of separated on this outer mesh membrane here and then the grip on the actual bottom of the shoe is pretty much all but gone so uh, these have had just durability issues as have many of the other pairs of ultra shoes that i've had i love the shoes and they're fantastic when you get them out of the box but they just haven't seemed to hold up the way that i would hope that they would for the amount of money that i've paid for them so I'm going to give these new Topo Ultra Venture Pros a shot. They have a pretty similar profile with a wide toe box and it's a five millimeter drop. So it's not a completely neutral shoe, uh, but I do think that it's going to be very similar kind of wear from day to day from the Ultras. I think it's going to feel pretty similar on my foot, but I'm hoping that they just hold up a little bit better and this material doesn't break down as quickly as what my ultras have. Additionally, they do have a full Vibram outsole, so that is a really, really good sign for long-term wear. The Vibram is just one of those kind of tried and true surfaces that we hikers and backpackers really love. It's also got a more aggressive tread pattern than the ultras do so i'm hoping that in kind of foul conditions these are going to work really well and i'm going to be trying these out out on the road and on the trail as a running shoe as well i'm going to try and get both uses out of this shoe if i can i was able to pick these up for just a little over a hundred bucks during a holiday sale so this was a savings against some of these other shoes that i've spent well north of 130 150 dollars on um, and then on top of that, I really just kind of like the understated accents. You got a little bit of orange on the heel, a little bit of orange in the logo and on the toe. I mean, sorry, on the tongue. But the shoe itself is pretty understated with the darker green and the black and, uh, you know, just not a ton of accents. So you can absolutely wear this out and about to the brewery, to the restaurants. Uh, as long as you're not going anywhere super fancy, this is going to work just fine, especially out west in the smaller towns that we like to hang out in. So uh, very excited to be trying out these Topo Ultra Venture Pros. I will report back when I've got a lot more miles on them as to how they've held up and if the durability has 
serve the purpose that I was hoping it would serve, but it really suits my purposes so far with the look and with the, uh, the feel while I'm hiking, and then I'm hoping that the durability helps up. So uh, tell me your stories about your Ultras, whether you love them or whether you don't like them so much down in the comments, or if there's a shoe that's just absolutely worked really, really well for you, whether it's Hoka's or Saucony's or some company that I don't know about. So leave me a comment. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the subscribe button and the like button. It certainly helps out the channel. You won't miss any of the updates that we have coming out. And definitely go over and check out Outdoors podcast.com where you'll find all of our podcast episodes as well as articles and other videos about gear and adventures thanks so much for watching the video and i'll see you soon